Today, we're talking about how to grow in difficult times. All right, everybody, you know the drill. Hit that like button, hit subscribe, and hit the bell to get notifications of new videos headed your way. So today we're talking about an awesome big topic that I feel like is so relevant for right now, and that is how to excel in difficult times. So there's one really, really important thing that I want to focus on that this whole conversation is going to be focused on that is going to allow you to excel in, in times like what we have right now. Now, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, as, as anyone that's putting themselves up against challenging things, you know, the, the list of crazy things that happen, like what's going on in the world at this very moment, it's always something, whether it's this, whether it's 2008, whether it's a wild terrorist attack, it, always something super challenging will be coming up and changing the direction of what you're doing. And that's why it is so important you focus on growing your willpower. And by growing your willpower, I mean that ability to keep pushing through, keep going no matter what. Look at problems and say, you know what, I'm going to deal with it. I understand that these problems are going to come up and I'm, I'm going to get through it. I'm going to handle it. And, and this is something in, in making commitments and following through on them, you know, saying, Yes, I will have this done next Monday and getting it done by next Monday. Having that willpower to make sure this stuff happens is crucial at times like this, difficult times when you need to still excel. So some of the things, one huge thing that can help you cultivate and grow willpower is your purpose. Having a defined, having a purpose on why you're doing what you're doing. If you're just on the rat wheel to be on the rat wheel, sometimes between employee issues, work issues, work shortages, that's just the normal stuff, crazy stuff like right now, you can just feel so beat down that it'll want to it'll want to put out that flame, put out that fire, kill your willpower, and you can't do that. So you've got to have a defined purpose, a reason for going out and dealing with the challenges and things you do that will make that willpower stay higher, continue to grow keep your fire burning, and keep you excelling in difficult times. I can't stress how huge this is. The other thing that goes into this in excelling in these difficult times is drop the victim mentality. The victim mentality takes away your willpower. It just completely takes it away because it just allows you to make excuses for everything. You know, instead of saying, Instead of taking ownership and realizing my decisions are what gives me the outcomes that I have in my life, instead of looking at it like that, when you have that victim mentality of, man, life is just really, really hard for me. You know, I just never get what I deserve. I just, you know, I'm always working my butt off and it just, I just, I just always get the bad end of the stick. I'm just, I'm just unlucky. That kills everything for you. It takes away the accountability. It takes away the responsibility, your willpower, all of it. So drop it. Drop the feeling sorry for the crazy things that are going on and start learning to take accountability of the situation you're in because you can only control what is your situation. You can only control certain things. You can only worry about the things you can control. So, you know, you've got to... Drop that attitude. You know, that attitude, I've heard it from, from friends growing up to family members to people that work for us. You know, the person that's like, I got 10 years in and I feel like I should have this certain thing. Well, if someone's got 10 years invested in some certain thing and they, they don't quite have what they feel like they should have yet, I mean, I'm sorry, but it's the decisions you make. If my business fails, it's not my bad luck, it's the decisions I make. If my employees don't do a good job, it's probably not my employees. It's probably the way I handle them and the way I handle my business. So taking accountability, losing that victim attitude, really looking at your purpose and having a driving purpose, all of these things will up your willpower. Don't put chinks in your willpower armor. Don't hit it with a lack of purpose. Don't hit it with, 
Oh, another excuse because I'm, I'm just a poor victim and life just happens to me. Everyone, this is so huge. You have got, you've got such a the, the crazy times and there's going to be opportunity in these things. And you can, you can choose to look at it like there's not or you can choose to look at it like there is. And both people are going to be right. So what this means, build your willpower. Look at these things I'm saying. Look at ways within yourself to build your willpower. Stay up on your commitments. Do more. Drop victim mentality. I've had victim mentality about situations, and and it's it's hard sometimes. And you just got to try to correct these things to better yourself as a leader, to better yourself as a business owner, entrepreneur, a, a husband, a father, all of these things. These things will make you better in all aspects of life. Taking responsibility for everywhere of where you're at will make you better in all areas of your life. You get what you put in, and you get where you go because of the decisions you make. We're in crazy times, and I push everyone, and I encourage everyone to work on your willpower, work on your purpose, work on tearing down that victim mentality that is holding you back, and use everything you have, all the resources you have, to grow personally and to excel in difficult times. This is huge. This is a huge topic because you have to remember, you can only control so many things. So stop worrying about the stuff you can't control. Take control of the things you can control. Grow your willpower and become more every day. Everyone, thank you for watching. I hope this is powerful. I know people need inspiration right now. I need to inspire myself sometimes. That's half the reason I like catching this poster here in the back because that's a, to me, that's an inspirational poster. Everyone, do your best to inspire the people around you. Inspire uh, attitudes of, of, of building and growth instead of being broke down and scared. I wish you all luck in 2020 and keep pushing. Talk to everyone soon. See you.